So I made a video on questions one and question six yesterday. Um, I don't want to do the whole thing, but I do want to cover question five because I made a mistake on the answers that I posted in the back. So um, if we take out yesterday's worksheet and look at number five, we want to factor by grouping. And this one's weird because it has a bunch of different letters, but it's done the same exact way. Step one on factoring by grouping is to simply make space between your first group and your second group. So you have your 48 CG plus 36 CF, leave some space, minus four DG minus three DF. You wanna factor something out of that first group. There is a multiple of 12 and also a common letter, common variable C. So your GCF is actually 12 C. If you pull out that 12 C, you will have a four, no more C, just a G. Right, think about it, 12C times what gets you back to a 48CG, that'd be a 4G. 12C times what would take you back to a positive 36CF. Well, 12C times, 12 times three would get you back to a 36, so you put a plus three. That's where I made my mistake. I have no idea, but on the answers I put in the back, I had a six here. 12 times six would be 72, not 36. My bad, I apologize. So this is where the, the mistake came from. Anyway, uh, C times what gives a C? It's like a one, you don't need to put it, but you do need an F because you need an F up there. So three F is your second term. So let's do the same for the second group. What's in common? I could pull out definitely a negative sign and there's also a D right there and a D right there. So I'm just gonna pull out a negative D. That's what I'm pulling out. And what would be left? You'd have uh, four G. Think about this, negative D times what gives you a negative three DF, just a positive three and an F. So you put plus three F. So the last step on factoring by grouping is to put some exaggerated parentheses, take out that common binomial, in this case it's four G plus three F, and bring down what's left over, this 12 C that's left over, bring that down, the minus D that's left over, bring that down, I just leave the exaggerated parentheses so you could see that that common binomial is missing. <coughs> oh, my voice is going, <coughs> Okay, here we go. So uh, 4G plus 3F times 12C minus D, that's your answer. Would you like to see one more down here or not? Yes, please do number nine. Okay, we'll do number nine, but that's the last one. All right. All right so. Right here, you obviously need to do your steps, right? What are your steps? Multiply A times C, get an answer. Step two, make a list, right? Think of the multiples of that answer that combine together to give you the B value. And then you change your trinomial to a polynomial and then factor by grouping. So let's do that. Step one, and everybody should write down the steps when you're showing your work. A times C, we will get A is 21, C is two. So we will get 42 as the answer for step one. Step two, make a list of the multiples of 42 and see which one combines together to give you 17, the B value. So how can I get 42? One times 42, two times uh, 21, three times what? 14, four times what? Doesn't work, five doesn't work, six times seven, and that's it. Those are all the different ways of multiplying two numbers to get 42 besides changing signs. Anyway, which pair of numbers when I combine together gives me the middle value 17, three and 14. That combines together and it gives us 17. We don't have to change any signs, none of that stuff, right? Positive three plus positive 14, that's positive 17. We are good. So now we can move on to step three, which is that weird part where you rewrite your entire a quadratic trinomial as a polynomial. You change your three terms into four terms. So I have 21x squared, and instead of 17x, I have a positive 3x plus 14x, and at the very end, I still have the plus two. So all I did was replace the 17x with these two numbers. So the 17 became these two numbers right there. After all, 3x plus 14x really is 17x. So you rewrite it into four terms, that way you can now factor by grouping. So when I factor by grouping, step one is to create two groups. Step two is to factor something out of the first group, which in this case is a three and an X. What would be left? Three X times what? Takes us back to a 21 X squared. That would be a seven with an X. And then three X times what would get us back to three X? 
plus one, there you go. And over here, uh, what could I factor out of my second group? A what? Two. Bless you. A two, all right. It's not, it wasn't even funny the first time. I don't know why I keep repeating that joke. Okay, so uh, pull out A2, and you will have 7x plus 1 also left over. So step 3, I'm factoring by grouping. The final step is to do your exaggerated parentheses and pull out that common binomial. Common binomial, and write it right here. That common binomial is 7x plus 1. Once again, I've... I took the 7x plus 1 here and here, and I pulled it out. So what's left over? The 3x is left over, and the 2 is left over. Notice that I put a positive right there. That way it looks nice. If you don't put a plus, then it doesn't really make sense. So there's your answer. 7x plus 1 times 3x plus 2. If you wanted to double check it, all you have to do is distribute and combine like terms and see if it really does give you that original quadratic trinomial that you started with. Okay, I'm done.